Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I want to start off by saying two things. The first thing is I wasn't planning on filming today so that's why my hair is like crazy. Like I, I, I didn't know what to do with it, okay? It was not cooperating and I didn't feel like putting heat on it so this is what you're getting. So the second thing that I wanted to do is thank you guys so so much because your girl your girl kind of just had a little bit of a milestone um, i just passed 1000 subscribers all thanks to you guys thank you so much for liking my videos and sharing them with your friends and all of that stuff it really means a lot to me truly i never thought i would get to a thousand i know people always say that they're like oh, i never in a million years thought i would be here no 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 like i literally never thought that i would get past like 500. thank you so much if you are subscribed and if you are not you know where the button is, so go ahead and do your thing. As you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you guys a very glowy but also full coverage fall glam tutorial. Hopefully that makes sense. I live in Ottawa, Ontario, and right now as I'm filming this, okay, it is like 11 degrees outside. I don't know what that conversion is for Americans, but it's 11 degrees. It's definitely fall weather, so yeah, that's why I'm in a sweater. So I'm going to go off camera kind of figure out the eye look that I want and then come back and show you guys how I did. I'm sorry if you hear like some noise that's going on outside like airplanes and lawnmowers and stuff. It just got really really hot in here for no reason so I had to open a window so sorry about that. But um, anyways let's get started with these eyes. So this whole eyeshadow look is going to be accomplished using the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here. What is this color called? The color is called Butter right here right beside this yellow and I'm going to use it to set my eyeshadow primer. Now it is a little darker than what I would normally use to set my eyeshadow primer but because this whole look is kind of dark and I don't want to say grunge but you know it's kind of kind of grungy I guess I don't mind setting it with a bit of a darker base. You know what I actually think I'm going to zoom you guys in a little more so let's go ahead and do that. Welcome to my pores and all the cracks and crevices of my face. The color that I'm going to take next is this yellow shade that was right beside the color that I just used. So this color is called creamsicle and I'm going to blend it right above my crease. You might not be able to see it that well on camera but it kind of acts as a nice little transition shade. Okay so next up I'm going to take this color right here what is this called I don't know how to figure out what this is called I think this is called buns I'm not totally sure it's like it's kind of confusing with the packaging on the back because everything is like reversed so I'm looking at it I'm trying to figure out what is what okay I'm not good at math so this is kind of hard for me so I'm gonna take that on the same brush and just apply that a little lower into my crease and this is one of these looks that you might feel like just involves a lot of pointless blending but in the end it's worth it okay I promise <laughs> Alright, so now that we are done with that, I'm going to take this color right here. Um, this color is called, I believe this is called Jax. It's kind of a cross between a cranberry and a red, so I think it'll be perfect for this look. And I'm just going to take that lower in my crease. And I'm taking a little extra on my brush and just going to tap it on the outer corner. You can see I'm holding my brush a little closer to the front because I want some more control. But if you wanted less control, you hold your brush closer to the end and then you kind of just flick it. Um, you can do either or, but... Personally, I like having more control with darker colors, so that's why I hold it closer to the base. Just a little little learning moment for you guys. Okay, we are almost done what seems like three years of pointless blending. So lastly, I'm going to go ahead and take... Next, I'm going to take this brown. I believe this is called Mocha. So I'm going to grab some of Mocha, and I'm just going to put that right over where I put this cranberry color to really make it kind of deep and, I don't know, sultry. Is that, is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. <laughs> now we're going to play with some metallic colors. And I love me a good metallic. So I'm going to take some of the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 spray that I use all the time. I'm going to take some of that and just spray my brush. Uh, you don't have to wet your brush. I just think metallics perform better when your brush is wet. So tomato, tomato, okay? I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to dip into this color right here. What is this called? I think this is the color 24-7. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, it kind of has some like silver specks of glitter in it. I don't know. I just think it's a really pretty color. That color is going to go all over the lid. But I'm going to start off by patting it and you might notice there isn't much color payoff right now don't worry about that this step is mostly just to lay it down and see where we want it to go and i'm kind of doing this technique that i learned from jackie Ina. she describes it as pressing and pulling pretty much exactly what you think it would be you just press it and pull it press it 
and pull it A. Press it and pull it A. But yeah, that's just a really good way to get metallics off of the brush and onto your lid because sometimes they can just stick onto the brush and that's not what you want. And lastly, to build up that sparkle, I'm going to go ahead and take some on my finger. You guys know this is my favorite way to use metallics is just with your good old-fashioned finger. Ooh, and now you can see it really has more of that shine to it compared to what it looked like before. I love this color. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the eyes, at least for now. So I'm going to go ahead and deal with some of this fallout and then we will get back to do our base. I still have a few like flecks of glitter on my face, but at this point, they're kind of like part of me. <laughs> glitter is so hard to get off of your skin, so we're just gonna ignore it for the time being. Anyways, let's get started on this base. I am super, super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys something that has been a recent favorite of mine. This is the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. You guys have probably seen a bunch of videos on this already. I feel like I'm the last person to review it. This primer is crazy, okay? crazy. I came across it when I was in Rexall one day after school and um, they had a tester and I took a little bit on my finger and I like rubbed it into my hand and I was like what the heck is this? Like it's so weird. So like I said this is a jelly primer and you're probably like what does that mean? Let me show you. So you unscrew it and then it comes with a little stopper which is really nice especially if you are planning on traveling with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. So you can see there's like jelly on the stopper and that's literally what this primer is. I want to show you guys but I don't want to like drop it but this primer is straight up jelly. It's like jello. <laughs> it's so cool though. I really like it a lot. Can you see that consistency? It's like, it's so weird. It's so weird but it works. Um, I've only used it a couple of times just to go to school. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, but it feels really similar to that. Um, well, it makes your face feel really similar to that one, but the actual texture, like I've never felt a primer like this before. This primer is perfect for the fall, especially me. You guys know that I have oily combination skin, but right now, I don't know what's going on. Okay, this weather is really screwing with my skin. My skin has become really, really dry lately, so this primer has honestly just been amazing see can you guys see that how it's like literally like a ball of jelly Ooh, it's kind of giving me like a little glow like you guys see that like Ooh. This primer is more pricey for a drugstore primer. This whole thing I believe was $24 or a 17, I don't know. I know that's a wide range, but I'll have the price right here on the screen. But it was definitely more expensive than what I would have expected from NYX. But you do get, how much product is in here? 40 grams, so 40 grams of product. And this is a big, big jar of primer. And because you don't really need a lot to cover your whole face, I think it's worth it for the price. On their website, you are supposed to let this primer set before you go ahead and do your makeup. So I don't know if it's, if it's set, it's still kind of sticky, so I think I'll leave it leave it to soak into my skin a little bit more. It's supposed to smooth your skin, blur the appearance of pores, and also make your makeup last longer. However, the whole Bear With Me line, including the tinted veil, which I have, and I'll be showing you guys in a second, their whole claim isn't crazy. Like, it's not like, 24 hours, matte, cover it. Ooh, ooh, I, I'm hitting this and I feel it jiggling. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Um, their whole claim is eight hours of wear. So they're not saying anything crazy. They're not saying like, you could go to Narnia and come back and your foundation will still look good. Okay, they're not claiming that. I guess if you're going to school for like a couple of hours or if you're gonna go grocery shopping, you don't wanna look totally dead inside, that's more of who this line is catered for. Okay, I feel like this primer has set. Um, my face is still kind of sticky, but it feels, it feels ready. So let's go ahead and start with some foundation. Foundation. Okay, so as promised, I am going to be using the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. However, however, I have the shade Nutmeg Sienna, and the shade that I actually really wanted was the shade before this. It's called, I think it's called Golden Caramel or Cinnamon Roll, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have the name of the shade lighter than this right here on the screen. So that is the shade that I originally wanted because I saw some of my foundation matches on YouTube using it, but I could not find that shade anywhere, okay? And I went to like three different stores. Nobody had that shade. So I just got the darker one. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't know about this product yet, it provides a fresh face look. It evens out your skin tone, provides seamless coverage. It's a breathable, weightless formula. Your skin will look luminous. It doesn't streak and it provides up to eight hour wear. Just 
like I was saying before. Because this is dark for me, I'm going to mix it with one of my favorite foundations. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Now, I have not tried Fenty's new hydrating foundation, but I feel like this would be really similar to it. Anyways, I'm going to mix these two bad boys. So I'm going to start off with one pump of this. Maybe, maybe a pump and a half. A little extra pump never hurt anyone. <laughs> Oh jeez. Do you ever say something and you're like, where did that come from? Like, <laughs> so let me do that much. Yeah, that should be good. Um, if you guys want to see the consistency of the two, so the one on top that is clearly darker, that is the NYX Tinted Skin Veil, and obviously the bigger blob is the Smashbox Foundation. So I'm gonna take this little brush and mix them together like a little little scientist. Okay, that color looks that color looks promising. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna start in the kind of center of my face. I think I might have put a little too much of the NYX tinted skin veil because it is looking a little darker than what I anticipated, but you know what? It's fine. Also, I want to ask you guys something kind of random, but have any of you guys been listening to like non-stop throwbacks recently? I don't know what has gone into me. Excuse me. There was like a monster truck pulling off outside. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, like I've been listening to non-stop throwbacks recently. I don't know what's gotten into me. Everything that I'm listening to is older than 2013. And I don't know if it's just like a comfort thing. <laughs> like I've just been listening to non-stop throwbacks. Let me know if any of you guys have been doing the same. And actually here, that'll be our little activity today. Leave in the comments below your favorite throwback song. So this is definitely more hydrating than what I'm used to, but considering the condition of my skin right now, I feel like this is nice. So that's pretty much it for my foundation. I am really, really into this, even if the shade is a little off. It just feels really nice on my skin and I feel like it looks really nice and natural, but it's also like medium coverage, so I like it. Now we're gonna go ahead and use some concealer because Lord knows that I need it. My dark circles have been extra popping lately, so here's a little tip that I'm going to share with you. This is also something that I learned from Jackie Aina. What I'm gonna do first is go in with a more orange concealer. Now this is not a color corrector, it's just something that is more warm and it kind of leans orange golden, but it's not straight up red color corrector. Um, so this is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I use the shade Warm Sand. The orange tones in it really help to cancel out the darkness under my eyes. I'm gonna focus the, not all the way up, kind of lower, like right here. I can, I can really see that my face does not match my neck, but you know what? It's okay, because you can just wear like a turtleneck or something and no one will ever know, so. Don't clock me in the comments, okay? I acknowledge it. Honestly, it does act as color corrector, but it's not the same as a straight up red or like peach color corrector. So one thing that I like to do is if I do have lighter coverage on the rest of my face, I like to be full, full coverage under the eyes just so it's kind of balanced. <laughs> so I'm gonna be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. You guys, I bought this when I was in Florida and I, I understand all the hype, like it all makes sense to me now. <laughs> this shade, I have the shade Tan Sand. It's a tiny bit light for me right now, but because I'm using it over a darker concealer, I think it'll It'll be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that right under my eyes. The undertone of it is a little too neutral for me, but sometimes you gotta just work with what you got. <laughs> now I am gonna let it sit for a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get my setting powder ready. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey. Okay, so I'm just setting up that powder right now, making sure that as soon as I blend it out, I can just like slap it on, okay? No time for creasing. Let's just get started on blending that out. Now, you might be thinking that this concealer is like way, way too light for me, but the setting powder that I'm using, like I said, um, it's the shade Honey from Fenty Beauty. It's almost like a straight up orange powder. And I don't know, it just, it looks really nice when I use it with this concealer. Okay, wow, we look very canceled out right now. I hope you guys are able to see how this powder really tones down that concealer so it doesn't look too crazy bright. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go kind of heavy around my nose and then right in between my eyebrows. But everywhere else I'm gonna keep it pretty light because I want some of that glow from the foundation and the primer to really shine through. Huh? See what I did there? Shine through, glow. 
To set the rest of my face, I'm going to take this giant brush from Morphe. Um, this is their M180 AK47, okay? Dip it into that powder just a little bit and use that on my cheeks. We're almost done. I am sorry. I feel like this video is going to be so, so long. For the under eyes, I want it to be smoky but not too smoky, okay? Because I feel like there's a fine line between like smoky and crackhead. And I just, I want to ride that line right in the middle. So the first color that I'm going to take... Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go in. I feel like I'm having a mental breakdown right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that same cranberry color that we used before and just use it on the inner half of my lower lash line. So now I'm gonna take the same brown from before. That color was called Mocha. And I'm gonna take that on the outer portion. Everybody wanna steal my girl. Everybody wanna take her heart away Couple billion in the whole wide world Find another one cause she belongs to me So for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty bronzer Hopefully that didn't just blind you But this is the shade Caramel Cutie This is what she looked like She is beautiful and I'm in love with her Thanks for asking Okay, I think that's good enough that airplane is so freaking loud, Jesus. In the fall, or at least in the beginning of fall, I like to use a blush that has a little more glow, a little more dimension to it, instead of a straight up matte blush. So I'm gonna go in with this palette from Morphe, and I'm gonna take this shade up here. The shade is called Witty. Have you guys seen that video of that guy? And he's like, blush, 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 you are now my big fat crush. Hush, 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 blush, blush, blush. You are now my big fat crush. I'm single as I can be. You're single, perfect. That's what blush reminds me of. <laughs> now we get to use some highlighter. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is still some glow coming through from the foundation and the primer, but I want some more. And it looks like my battery's about to die, so let me go change it and I'll be right back. Where was I? Highlighter. For highlighter, I kind of want to go a little crazy. I feel like there's a hair in... I'm gonna start off with this. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Champagne. I am absolutely in love with this highlighter. It's just, it's like one of the best. If you are looking for a highlighter that is out there and super, super sparkly and glittery, this, this is your boy. I'm gonna use it more on the center of my cheekbone. You could stop there, but if you know me, you know that I'm not stopping here. Um, the next highlighter that I'm going to take, this is from Becca. This is in the shade Opal. It's just a really beautiful light gold. It kind of gives it a nice extra pop. Recently, my favorite, favorite thing to do with highlighter is just take some and put it right here. I don't know why something about having a little glow right here it's just so cute to me i don't know i just think it's so cute okay i think that's pretty much it for the face so let's go ahead and set it um set it and forget it as the kids say i'm gonna be using the same i don't know why i tell you guys what settings i'm gonna use because it never changes but yeah i'm gonna use the Too faced hangover three in one whatever whatever setting spray go ahead and shake it up and assault my face <laughs> Oh, I opened my mouth, I think. Ooh. For mascara, I'm going to be going in with a drugstore favorite. So excited. That's why I did that. This is the Maybelline Snap Scara. If you have not tried this yet, go and try it. If you are looking for an affordable but amazing mascara, this is it. It's just so easy to apply and it's so easy to take off. I think that was the whole premise of the launch was that it's easy on, easy off. And I just, I love it. I love the way it makes your lashes look. Yeah, I like to do like two sometimes three layers of this honestly you can start to get the look of false lashes like it's that good so now we're on to our last step okay bear with me bear with me <laughs> i'm sorry that was a really bad joke last step is lipstick so i am super super excited i'm gonna be trying out this new product from nyx well it's probably not new now but it's, it's kind of new this is their nyx lingerie push-up long lasting lipstick so this stuff is supposed to be like a lip crayon that is also a lip plumper that is also a lip stain sounds crazy we'll see what it does um i have the color push up the one thing that i want to say is that this looks very different on your lips than it does on the package you can see the packaging looks like it's a nice kind of medium toned taupe kind of color but then when you actually swatch it it's very very different let's go ahead and do a little little scribble scribble on my hand oh it's a nice retractable can you can you hear that 
Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about, but the actual package is a lot darker than the crayon itself, okay? Just be warned. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on my lips. Oh my god, wait, I feel it! It feels, it feels kind of like, like tingly. That's so weird! Okay, I don't know what Nyx did there, but I have some questions. Nyx, talk to me. <laughs> okay, so I definitely need a lip liner, because... I brought the Annabelle lip liner in the shade 330 Espresso, and I'm gonna take that on the outsides. I'm gonna need to add a gloss for my own personal satisfaction. So this gloss is also from NYX. This is their butter gloss. I have the shade Praline. Praline. I don't know. With that, this is the finished look. And really quickly, I think I'm actually going to run outside and see if I can get you guys like a nice shot of what this looks like in natural golden hour lighting just so you can see the real vibe of it, I guess. Oh yeah, one thing I want to do before I leave is give you guys my mini review of these two products. So this NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer, I love this. I think this is amazing. It really does smooth your skin and make it look nice and poreless, so I really like that. And as for the Tinted Skin Veil, I think I would really enjoy this if it was in my correct shade. But so far, it's mixing really, really well with my foundation. I definitely like it. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.